Hello everyone, this is Archer Fangs and welcome to another video of Portal Knights. So in the last part we actually discovered um, the third world which is called Fort Finch. And the video before that we discovered the Dusty Junction, a sandy place. And today I'm right here back at my base. Usually when you log off from the game and you come back in, you are sent back to your island that it sets as home. So and this is the first world is automatically set to home. As long as you change it like this, you know, all you have to do is um, go to any island and then click right there. It says set as home. And every time you log off and you come back in, you will start in that island. But I'm right here back at base, like I mentioned earlier at the beginning of this video. And one thing I forgot to do in the last video is to invest the attribute points that I level up when I defeated the orange slimes. So this time we're going to do one point here and two points on agility and one point on dex. So far we are still one level away from heading our next tenants and actually we actually have way to level five so not that bad. Since we're back at base we're going to check what kind of armor we can craft. Okay, minor helmet, minor jumpsuit. No, thank you. Okay, not this one. It's right here, the archer station. So I'm at level four. So I could craft the hound, which requires bones, cotton cloth, and common resin. So the hood gives you 30 defense, 15, 60, 45. They all have the same. So we're going to need two, four, six, nine. We're going to need nine cotton. We have 13 in there already. And we're going to need One, two, three, four, common resin and copper bars. And an extra resin for the cape. So, let's craft that. And this head to the furnace. Do I have enough coal? That's one thing I'm worried about. I don't have enough coal. I think I do have enough. So let's go over here and go to the ingredients, copper bars. So I could do 15 copper bars. That's gonna take five seconds to craft one bar. So that's a total of almost a minute. So while we do that, we're gonna get the common resin. Do we have enough common resin? Yes, we do. Let's put on the cape. That one gives me a plus 4% critical strike chance. So you have four armor pieces, a cape, and the ring slot. Alright, what else should we do while we wing? We can also check out other stuff while we're here. Like, let's see the tools. A mining crawl effectively mines gems and other magical blocks. Copper pickaxe, effectively mine stone, ores, coal, and metal blocks. Mm, nice. And number jack axe and a mining drill. Mining drill effectively mines dirt. Hmm. And the RK compass. I'ma craft that. Always points towards north, and when triggered, it also points to the position of portals for a short time. This is done. Grab that. This craft first arc armor. This is over here. Ranger cap. Critical strike chance plus four percent. The ranger gauntlets plus thirty health. The ranger armor. 
plus 50 health. And the Ranger Pants. Critical Strike Chance plus 4% and Double Jump plus 1. Could we craft any swords with this? Ooh, I can. I can do this one? I need scales. Where the heck do you get scales from? Shit, man, that sucks. Oh, that's a stronger version of this one. Oh, okay. And I'm level 5, so I'm... I'm not even there yet, so let's craft this one. The level 3 version. Nice. Alright, let's put on our new armor. We get 20 more armor on this. 60. 15. 45. That's a lot of armor there. And we have that. Then we have our new bow. We're gonna try this. Trash that, trash this. Alright, so we have 9 copper left. What can we craft with the new copper? Let's try um, making the uh, tools. So it needs 1 and 3. Let's craft that. Let's do the axe. Effectively mines wood. And let's do the arcane compass. Nice. So we have that. I don't think we're going to need any of these other tools. A hoe. Possibly, but not right now. There's an event going on. So before we continue and do that event, we're going to grab our new pickaxe. Our new axe. I don't think we don't need the axe. The axe is just for trees. We're going to put this over here. We could trash this. And let's put the new seeds in here. Send to chest. Send to chest. Send to chest. And that. That should be good. Send to chest. Send to chest. Alright. So let's do the quest, the event actually. What is it? Running wild. It's at Fort French, so let's travel there. Alrighty. Fort French, level 3, we're level 4, very good. We're one level higher, but that's okay. So we're gonna try our new armor and our new copper bow. What's that? Craft a swiftness potion to using the Fallen Squire temporary special drops. Oh. That's it? Oh. Well, I guess... I'm not gonna do that then. So we're gonna explore what we've left off last video. So, somewhere over there, there was a dungeon that looked like a creepy face. What's that? Oh, Fallen Squire. Level 6? Whoa. Damn, this bow is stronger now. Sea Sapphire Dust. Die, you sucker. There you go. Guardian Mushroom Sea, Cotton, and Portal Shards. Okay, let's organize my inventory a bit. If you do not know what the arcade compass do, it points towards the uh, portals if you're lost. I'll use them in on the bit since we have two portals in this world. So this is making us kill the fallen squires and craft the pose using the ingredients they drop. There you go, we defeated the guy. But I don't think I'm gonna do that quest. I don't know why I'm even killing the Fallen Squires. Let's explore this thing right here. But first, let's kill this thing. Oh, 
Ooh, double jump. What is this? Ooh, there we go. Swift Net Potion level 2. Where can we craft that? Oh, I need four... Ice Rose. Actually, let's do that quest then. I only have one. So, where are more Fallen Squires? Let's see. Do I see any? <clears throat> Got him. Critical strike. Usually when you see the number blink yellow, it's a critical hit. I have two ice rows. I need two more. I'm like, I don't know, like 10% to leveling up to level 5 already. What's the guy down here? He might be dangerous. Let's save him. <laughs> Cool, cool. You didn't drop no rose? Oh, there you go. Let's speak to this guy while we're here. Nick the Hunter. What a nice season for hunting. Don't you think? Would you like to help me reduce the number of the swaying blossoms around here? Sure, why not? It is always nicer with the companion. Uh, he doesn't accompany us, so we have to do it on our own. We need to feed three swaying blossoms. Those those flowers that pop up from the ground and start walking towards you. All right. And I already defeated three, so that sucks. They spawn back after a while. We cannot find any. If you want to complete the quest faster, what you can also do is just leave this world and then come back. All the monsters are will respawn immediately. So we really went inside this house, did we? Then we're going to be found the first portal. Actually, we haven't even gone to the house, now that I think about it. Let's, let's explore the house before we head into the portal. I'll probably go into the portal next video, not this one. All right. Let's destroy the barrels. Cotton, the crates. I'm leaving the ones with like stuff on top of them. I don't want to like take that stuff on my inventory. I think that's it. Just take the torture back. All right, let's see if the monster respond. Let's craft the portals thingies. Oh yeah, we're level 5. Look, we got our new talent. Let's invest this. Let's go there straight to... Um, Dex. Sentry stance. Increase damage dealt by 25 if you're having move in the last 5 seconds. Fading. When brought to low health, your dodge challenge is increased by 50% for 10 seconds. May only occur every 90 seconds. I think sentry stance will be nice. So that would be cool. So we have an extra 50% increased damage. There are 15. 
So we have enough to open three portals. Let's put this one here. Oh, look at that one. It kind of sends you to like a greenery. No, desert. I could see cactus in there. But we're not going to go in it. Like I said earlier, we're going to go in that in their next video. Can you to defeat three Slowenian Blossoms and craft the thing. Ooh, Fallen Squire. I think I need one more Ice Rose. Ice Rose. There, I think I have enough, right? So we completed the Running Wild quest. Damn, that damage goes up to 90? Shit. But I feel like the sentry stance only works well if you're playing with the group or if you're hitting enemy from afar. You know, like right here, like for example, this guy. Because most of the enemy we're gonna are gonna come and attack you and you have to move. You see, I was able to get that guy. Didn't even touch me. Okay. Where are the swaying blossoms? So there is three that way. There's one, there's two, and there's three. There you go. Too far. There we got the fun squire. Cool. We got that blossom down. Cool, we killed that guy. Alright, so we need one more blossom. There, we did it. Return to Nick the Hunter. I'm about to level up again already. Look, damn, I already have way towards level 6. Okay, let's go back to Nick the Hunter. He's over there. And while we head in there, we're gonna check this little shed thingy. Oh, actually, this is the other portal. Nice. So, we should try to go for this one or for the one over there. And there are two chests here. Let's loot them over here, asshole. Yo, why are you dumping in the freaking water? Stop throwing in the freaking water, dude! Okay, there. Let's drink a potion, because I'm low health. For my weapons, my tools, and all that. Let's go speak to Nick the Hunter. Talk. That should do it now. Everyone should feel a little safer. I doubt that. No. Let's see what we get. 399 XP and a Swain Blossom Gold Trophy. Nice. Trophy of a Blossom, basically. Alright. So this is going to be it for this video guys, if you enjoy hit the like button and if you're new to the channel subscribe if you want to see more Portal Knights or other gameplay videos subscribe if you're new and you got any questions or anything about the game or about my channel you're welcome to leave them down in the comments below and as always this is Archer Franks I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.